Bonjour. Bonjour. We are in Pimba Central Prison uh, in Bujumbura in Burundi. The International Committee of the Red Cross visits this prison once every month. There are 2,500 detainees, roughly. The HRC is monitoring the condition of treatment and the condition of detention in this prison. So you'll see here that's the kitchen where they basically cook the beans and uh, the ICRC is looking at the rehabilitation of the floor and the cooking facilities. That will help the prison to cook more food uh, and then to have more food available for the inmates. That's the beans. Même la farine, quand on est en train de distribuer, on te dit qu'on te donne 350. La farine, c'est petit. La farine, c'est petit. Ouais. Vous l'avez vu Oui, ouais, la farine, j'ai vu. Mais je suis en train de regarder ça avec le directeur. Bon, quand on va faire les travaux, ça va bien donner. Hein ça va Ça va bien Merci beaucoup. C'est contre les insectes, on va essayer d'enlever un peu les insectes dans la prison. Il y a beaucoup d'insectes ici, dans les beds, sur les murs. Il y a beaucoup d'insectes pour tout le monde. Il y a beaucoup de personnes. Ça fait 27. Hein? Ça fait 27, ouais. Chambre. Un B, ok, d'accord. We distribute soap to improve the hygiene of the detainee and uh, the overall hygiene of the prison as part of the monitoring of the condition of detention. The ICOC is looking at the overcrowding in this prison. Um, we study different solutions and then we discuss the solution with the authorities. Here you have the file of the detainee. Uh, they are classified according to the crime of each of the inmates. Uh, you have the murder, you have rapes, you have different kinds of um, crimes. The International Committee of the Red Cross work with the authorities to make sure that the judicial limits are respected. For example, when someone is arrested, you have a two weeks limit uh, to prosecute the inmate in front of a court. So what we do, we support the authorities to ensure that these limits are respected. A confidential talk is a discussion in private without the authorities or without the guards or the co-detainees where we can talk about the condition of treatment, the condition of detention in private. With this information, depending on what the detainee wants, either we address the issue with the authorities or we keep it for ourselves when the detainee decides that it's not transmissible. Sometimes we group the findings that we have in various uh, confidential talks and then we will make a report that we will address to the authorities um, with the problem identified, some recommendations and we will try to have the commitment of the authorities to improve the situation. One of the examples was the family not being informed when the, when the detainee was transferred in the prison. So that helped us to address this issue with the authorities and reunify the family. Here, the family can come twice a day, they can visit their relative and they can as well bring either some food item or some hygiene product. Thank you.
Donc c'est uniquement des nouvelles familiales, ok Ce sera vérifié par le directeur de la prison qui euh, fait un, un, une vérification. Et après, s'il est d'accord, s'il n'y a que des nouvelles familiales, on envoie ça à la famille. D'accord. Those uh, inmates that do not have the means of contacting their family, then the ICOC proposed them to write Red Cross message so that they can more or less quickly inform their family about, you know, about their whereabouts. Et l'adresse, il faut vraiment que ce soit le plus précis possible. You have to respect the custom, you have to respect the human being, you have to respect the rules of the prison, uh, but overall I would say we are very well accepted in a prison. <laughs>